How you doing, guys, and welcome back to episode three of the FM series. I am Scott Mackay. Follow me on Twitter below. Um, today we are doing the European well, Champions League. We're going to do the Champions League qualifiers. We've got a couple of fullbacks in mind for signing cover, and we've got Levy at home. Cheers. <laughs> Welcome back to FM 24 series. We are currently at half time away to uh, RC Genk in the Champions League. We're winning 2 2 1. Made some changes to the tactics. We put our, our full backs on attack and we pushed Todd Cantwell further forward as well. Um, try to see if I can show you the goals so far. We'll show them, we'll show them at full time, right? A right, dressing room, more than happy, but I don't want you, you guys becoming complacent. So definitely find an argument to take charge in the match. So let's get started in the second half, shall we? So Lauren Shanklin scored two really, really good goals to get it to get to put as a, a really good position um in this cup tie. Need to make the Champions League, I think it will be quite important for the club, and most only more importantly, um big for oh Danilo's just scored a belter. Danilo, who's just scored an absolute topper. What an, what an assist by Lauren Shanklin. He can see he gives the ball to Tavernier. How does he make the assist when he's giving the ball away there? Great pass for Tav, pass Cantwell. One time, first time pass for Shanklin and a first time shot for Danilo. That's sexy fit, but if you don't mind me saying so. So, as I was saying, we really need to make the Champions League to get well, keep the coefficient points going, um, more money into the club. Um, I've started off, I'll stop and get through the lineup. So I'm going to make some subs now anyway. As I say, I made some changes, so I went with still went with Super Jack Butland and Glow. I went with more experience at the back because it's Europe and Balligan and Connor Golds and John Suter. James Tavernier is on the right, Leon King's Waranka man and defensive midfield. Fred Van Yelmaz, Todd Cantwell, Nicholas Raskin, Lauren Shanklin, and Danilo. Just now, I'm going to make a wee change. I'm going to bring Dujon Sterling in for Leon King. He's injured, but he's only got a day left in, in his rehab. Well, three days. He's only got three days left in his rehab. So I think it's worth the risk bringing him in. So now we get this guy developed in every position going, the much more fun this series is going to be. So let's get the rest of this game out. Um, go to try and become not too complacent and say that the tie's over if we win this 3 1, but it puts us in a very, very good position. I've also struck a wee, um, a wee deal while, while you've been away. Oh, well, I'm going to strike a wee deal, sorry. Um, let me make a couple of subs first. Mero and Fellaini. I'll come back to you on it, OK? Mull it over. Tell me in the comments how rubbish I thought it is. Wait, you see this guy's stats, man. Unreal. Right, I'm going to take Shankland off. Um, he's the storming match. He'll be raging. He's not getting his, he's not getting his, uh, his high tech right enough. So, we'll put Robbie Fraser in at left full back. And... Maybe Ryan Jack in for Nico Raskin to cut the boys off. Cut the boys off. So overall, I've been very happy with this performance. Um, started to play it, and then I was like, I was going to come back after for the Champions League playoff. And uh, oh, hold on, there it is an attack again. And Ryan Jack on the ball going forward, driving forward. Fabio Silva plays the ball through Todd Cantwell. It's up there pretty much on his Todd, so he's got a lot of work to do. What a ball to Silva, and what a finish, man. I think it's half-side right enough, but as with it's still a good goal in it. Let's be honest. Is it onside? Nah, it's disallowed. I thought it would be really good play by the team, though. Um, I think BAL's going to confirm it now anyway. Ah, he's well offside. No doubt about it. Good finish, all the same, with Fabio Silva. <laughs> Aye, so as I was saying, there's been some changes um, to the to the tactics. I've just tweaked that a wee bit. Got his more attacking going forward. Got more positive players like Tavernier, like Yelmaz, more inverted into the into the narrow areas, really creating some problems for the opposition. Um, El Danilo, we're not going. Please just keep it at three-one Rangers. Don't lose a goal now. 
or Todd Cantwell's played a lovely through ball for Danilo. I'm like, that was actually, I think, a bin in Cantwell as well. He played really well this match. Ryan Jack into the ball. Cantwell has the post. Silver tops it off. What a finish. I don't want to see it, but I'm going to. I think we're home and dry. I think we're in a Champions League playoff round. I can't see this mob coming to Ibrox and turning us over 4 0 to win a tie. I don't see us getting beat before goals. That's some good for Barry enough. That's great football to watch. Do, 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 do. Shanklin with two goals in his first, see the first half. Them goals are phenomenal. Um, I don't know, see if I can get them up now. I don't why, I definitely don't why I might have saved Christ. I'll get back to it. I'll get the report up and stuff. Well done, lads. That's about, that's about as good a win as he's likely to see. Everybody was involved. We get Robbie Fraser off the bench. This is the kind of thing I'm going to try and do. I've got another left fullback I've looked at. I think his name's Jordan Hackett. He's at um, Newcastle. We could probably get him for around 235 or 250k. But I'm, I'm sitting there accusing myself. Do I really want to bring up another left fullback when I can bring Fraser in, give him a new contract, get to the homegrown rules, develop them, or do I bring in somebody that's more suited to being a backup left back and still do the same with Fraser and let me rotate Ridvan? Ridvan, we all know, can be a wee bit dodgy with injuries. Um, so, no, I'm not going to need any press stuff. Let me see if I can get his highlights. No, not yet. I'll go back and load it up in a wee minute. Go back and load up in a minute. In terms of transfers, as you can see, right, Mero and Fellaini, right, this is what I'm thinking. I've offered him a, four, a deal on 4.9k a week, right? This guy's due to retire in February, right? These stats, I took him in on a trial basis just now, these stats, he's natural fitness, but being between 15 to 18, his pace is still at 12, his stamina is still really good, his strength is still really good. This guy could be quite important. Now, see, there's a stopgap between now to January. I don't like signing players over age of 30. My signing policy is usually stuck to between 15 and 22, 23 years old. I like buying players and developing them and selling them on. But see, we may sell any likes of John Lundstrom and um, Ben Davies. I've lost quite a bit of experience. Borna Barisic is away to Dynamo Zagreb as well, as you know. Um, I think this guy can come in and not fill a leadership void, but in terms of um, in terms of like, ex like match experience, and he's got a good pedigree with Belgium. That was it, what, most likely playing. He was playing in China, so he's been playing in China ever since he left Man United. Um, let's see if we've got a coach report. I don't I want to know if he's, he's got a competitive streak, that's not a bad thing. Hopefully, he uses that against Celtic. Um, and an ability to dribble, giving you a, a wee bit one dimensional going forward with the ball. That's all right. We'll just be asking him. He's a consistent performer. He's really good in the air. Threat for set pieces. He enjoys big matches. He's got a balanced and normal personality. He's a leading player for most sides. I think that still just makes sense. I don't think it's something that um, I really should be questioning. I think I should be bringing him in for the year. Getting him his deal. Both so also, as you know, we've offered um, the deal with the fitness coach. Renato Marquez, I'm not going to go ahead with that one. Sorry, Kai. I know you spoke to me and I know you wanted him sign, but it just doesn't fit about well just now. Um, Robbie Fraser with a loan offer in for United. I rejected that. I mean, see when you compare him to, 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 to Jordan Hackett's not here. Let's get Hackett up. up. Jordan Hackett, right? This guy, see if you compare Robbie Fraser to this guy, right? Jordan Hackett's just a much more well rounded in a defensive mentality physical state, aerial vision. I think if I can bring him in and develop him, um, he'll roughly be on maybe between 25 to 5k. Bring him in at left back. He's 19 years old. Robbie Fraser's 20. I think it kind of speaks for itself, if I'm being honest. I don't know what the ceiling is going to be for young Robbie Fraser, but John Hackett just makes sense. Um. Let me offer 250 see what Newcastle won. So they went 275. I don't really want to give you 40% of any profit. Um going to go for 180k. 175k, and then you can have two installments of 150. Let's see if they accept that. This is when this game just gets silly. Right, so after 50 games, I'll give you 51,000 pounds Sound like a deal? Right, done deal. 
let's get into the negotiations. But first of all, I want to show you the goals for that match. And 4-1, match report will load up. Um, watch goals, there we go. Match report takes a wee minute to load up on this. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy that I found somebody that can come in and make an impact on the squad, keep the, the, the level of ability up. I think that's quite important. Right, here's the first goal. James Tavernier at the can well. Shanklin gets the ball and he just buries it in the bottom corner. There's no beating about a bush. It's a good goal. Raskin, Redvan gets the ball for inside, gives it to Tav. Cantwell feeds it to Danilo. This is the second goal. That was probably my favourite for the two of them, if I'm being honest. I thought it was a really good goal. This is a goal we concede. Um, really poor goal for a corner, but it's new when it comes to Rangers. In the second half, obviously, you've seen this live already, but you don't mind watching it again. Danilo with a good finish. Topping it all off. And then you've got the last goal, which is Fabio Silva. I think and Campbell hits the post here, doesn't he? Like Campbell hits the post, Silva finishes off. I don't mind my own players coming in having that kind of impact, but they're not going to be starting games. I probably will at some point come across problems with the rules manager and the, the Brighton manager. But I've not got 15 million to buy Abdallah Sima, which is currently valued at. He's never he's not going to be my player. Fabio Silva is certainly never going to be my player. He's I mean, his transfer value is 44 to 75 million. Who's, who's daft enough to pay that for that guy? Certainly not me. Um, Shanklin leaves Rangers fans purring after a fine display. I'm going to praise you, Lawrence. I want to be your best mate. There you go. You keep doing what you're doing. Spot on. So, we've got some movement on the go. We've got young Jordan Hackett coming in, and we have Mero and Fellini. If that deal goes ahead for Jordan Hackett, that is. Um, I think there was an odd guy I had seen. I was looking at this guy. No. Is he being valued at 1.2 million? That's good. He's a winger. But could you play him as a centre forward? Is that a silly idea? Good acceleration. He's got good agility. He's got good balance. Really good pace and stamina. Anticipation. His composure's not bad. 27 years old. There's not really much developing in him. Um, dribbling's really good. But in terms of that kind of Pressing forward, false nine rule that Shanklin's playing. It could be a good backup. It could be a good backup. And um, he's transfer listed just now. Wolves actually want him. This is the only issue here. 38 and a half grand a week for this guy. Um, really not sure if it's worth it, to be honest. Now that I've sat back and thought about it. Um, who else is on my short list? Maybe they're all still kind of getting scouted. This is why I was going to come back later. Um, Let's go on. Let's go on just now, right? Jordan Hackett. I said two and a half to five K. Wants to come in as a breakthrough prospect. So this is his agreed agreed playing time. That's really good. He's not wanting to be a squad player. He'd be quite this guy would be quite happy sitting in the under 18s, but he's going to get a surprise because I want him to come in and play um straight in the first team. I want him to be back up for Red Van when everything's not going to plan. So let's just get into these negotiations. I'm going to take that out. I want to take his yearly wage rise out. Right, I'm going to lock that out. That's all gone. I'll give you a bigger signing on fee and I will bring your wages down. Sorry, Mr. Agent, but right, they're not happy. That's coming out. Remove and exclude from negotiation. Six grand. I'll offer you five and give you 150. Oh, sounds like a good deal. Three year contract tied down. Means if he doesn't doesn't develop the way I want, it's a very low risk deal I'm doing. Very low risk deal. So in terms of my squad planner, as is where we are, my goalkeepers, I'm quite happy. My centre backs, I still need a centre back. So again, any suggestions, slap it in the comments. Quite happy to develop Leon King, but I don't want to be having to rely on Liam Balligan, and Sterling Suter and goal to move really badly need to start and centre back in there. Somebody can come in, command the area. Um lead this team forward. There's been interest in Connor Golton again. Nottingham Forest would like to strengthen the team starting 11. Now my only concern with this deal is he's got good leadership skills. He's a part of your your core kind of hierarchy. So as you can see he's one of the team leaders. Losing one of your team leaders isn't the ideal, especially your captain, especially a two-way captaincy of James Tavernier. Excuse me. Oh. 
you don't want to lose too many of your team leaders. I'm, I, I was hoping that with Fellaini coming in, it would kind of help to fill that void. Um, but we'll just need to wait and see. Super Jack Butler's our vice captain. He's not the greatest of starts to the season. I mean, can I say? Um, so we'll keep a wee eye. My GRL supports poor. That's purely because of I've got no coaching badges. Nobody knows me. Nobody thinks I'm decent, basically. Everybody thinks I'm shite, so to speak. In terms of club atmosphere, that's going really well. Team cohesion, the players are bonding well together. There's nothing really truly to know. Um, I'm going to move on to Livingston. Maybe we're going to do some rotation in amongst us just to get players to keep their fitness up. Hopefully we get that first win in the season. Here, Boga. I really, really wanted this guy. Um, looks a good player, doesn't he? In terms of your DN, he's 20 years old, you know, he's going to develop. I was kind of hoping to leave this guy towards the end of the transfer window, but if Boca have offered two million, then I feel as if I should offer two million. About twenty percent, I'll give you twenty. Uh, after twenty international games, I will give you another million. Can I suggest that? An improved offer. See, as is a way call call or act when I try to do negotiations with them the first round. Um, I think that's a decent bit, especially since they've been offered two million. So. I'll make the offer and hang off and see what they're going to do. If they want to play a long game, I'm happy to do that with them. Um, right, what else have we got? There you go, he's already away signing for poker. How is that even possible? Is that the same guy? 2.8 million now for three. And he's signed. Oh, who's this guy? Eros Mancuso. Player traits gets possible forward whenever he can play both sides of defence. That's interesting. He's good wages. He's got a good kind of value on him. Um, who else is putting a bid just now? He's, he's got a loan move currently on the table. This is his personality. Let's see my scouting report. Hang on. Asking prices well below market value. Works really hard for the team. Balanced and normal personality. Right, that's fine. Doesn't he feel comfortable playing in big matches? That's not bad because he's going to be a backup anyway. He's got a competitive streak. Again, that's not a bad thing. He's poor in the air. But he just said 24. He can maybe work on that. Need to learn the language. That's kind of box standard anyway. See, 1.3 million job done. Easy done. We need a centre back, guys. Badly, badly need a centre huh? Somebody that's going to take this team to the next level. Who that's going to be, I have no idea. Um, do, 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 right, what else have we got? Right, Mancuso is up for chatting days, which is good. Squad player 13. £13,000. See what his budget looking like. So we could play it our wage budget. I'm going to try and get them down to 10. Lock that in. Put a signing on fee down. Suggest terms. Right, so he wants a yearly wage rise. We'll bump that off. Bump that back down. Give him everything else. So give him a bigger signing on fee. Let me pass up to 57. There we go. I'm happy with that deal. He's got an appearance fee now. He's, he's not particularly going to play often, right? Um, his goal bonus, his assist bonus, all that's kind of fine. So I'm happy to close off the deal there. Let's just go and get into Livingston, will we? Got my first three points on board. Quite disappointed with the result to come, Um I'm not going to lie. I think we could have played a lot better. I'm hoping Fellaini's going to sign in time to play against Livy. I think that would be a really, really sort of... be good to get him, to get him on the pitch, so it would... Just to see how our, our first proper sign in the season is going to perform. But I don't think that's going to happen, unfortunately, because it would have signed by now. Hmm. How, how are you feeling this is going so far? Do you like it? It's decent content. Has it got you playing football manager? Um, if so, look me up on Twitter, scottymac631. Um, I know he says 992 down below. I don't need to get that change, changed. Um, look me up, send me a DM. We can chat about it. 
I love speaking about this game. It's it's class. Also, this is brought to you um, in association with Manon and Buckley, which is a suicide prevention service. If anybody's struggling with mental health, please find them on Twitter at Manon. Um, send them a DM if you need some help. The guys are spot on. It's one of our reporters, Chris Paul, that runs it, and it has been for a while. Um, right. So, the any deal's done. Um, done. We're waiting for work, prep, work permit. I'll be here for the 14th of August. So, we're not going to see him play the day, unfortunately, because I'm only doing Livingston and maybe the return leg against Genk. Oh, dear man, he's fit. Right. This gives me a wee bit of wiggle room and mix things up a wee bit here. Um, right, Sterling's only fit for 45 minutes of action. He's naggered, so I'll bring him on as a sub. Who else can I play? So we've got Butland in the same back three. See, this is where we need our centre-back to come in. Ideally, Delaney can play centre-back. Not that I'm going to use him there, but that is something that might be worth looking into. Dear Mandy's back. 45 minutes of action, so I'm going to bring him on off the bench. Um, we've got McCausland. There's not really many changes I can make just now because the squad is quite limited in what it can do. I think I'm going to give Fabio Silva a start for Danilo just to keep the match fitness up. Do I start Sema over Shankland? No, nah, because we don't need Shankland for midweek because we're going to be hopefully having a relatively easy match against KRC Genk and going through to the next round. So let's get into it, shall we? This is where we're starting off in Butland, Suter, Goldson, Balligan, Tav, Leon King and DM again, Red Van Yelmaz, Todd Cantwell, Raskin, Shankland and Silva. There's been some changes to it. There's been some changes to the starting lineup, but Leon King coming in, maybe would have seen that happening. He's very much come in and took Lundstrom's rollover, which is also a part of my thinking behind signing Mero and Fellaini, because losing Lundstrom lost a lot of ability. Lundstrom looks as if he's throwing a caravan on this game, so I didn't want to keep him. And um, Ben Davies leaving as well. Still leaves a shot at centre-half. We'll maybe look in at a centre-half after the match. I'm not doing any of that stuff. Skip. Right, let's go. Any highlights so far? That's not a good start. Usually I want something a wee bit quicker than that. Right, our Todd Cantwell over the ball. Oh, he's hit post. It's close. Silva with a rebound. Oh. Right, we've got a corner. Moon Rangers up it. Right, any centre go. Oh, unlucky. Unlucky bargain. Wasn't it the best headers, but I wouldn't mind seeing a set piece like that in real life. A corner, what up? Right, so 15 minutes in, we've had a shot in target. We've had four shots. We've got an XG of 0.42. I'm going to leave the encouragement button. See if you hit encouraging button and start highlighting the player's score. There's Shankland's been doing penalty Rangers. Things you love to see. David Monroe's pointing to his spot. Penalty review. And the penalties given. And then Tav's going, to, Tav's going to do what Tav does. He's going to step up and he's going to smash this penalty into the back of net. There you go. 1 0 Rangers. Lovely. Second penalty of the season. Second goal of the season. James Tav on their top scorer. As usual. Hopefully Shanklin can go in there. Um lovely slot of penalty on the bottom corner. Keeper had no chance. Hopefully Shankland and Silva can go on the score sheet today. That's my main objective. That's got it sitting top of the league just now, as you can see over here at the league table. Um so that's pretty positive as well for me. Can't wait to bring Dujon Sterling on. I'm going to bring him on up front for a laugh. There's a free kick at Tav on the edge of the box. So going to bend it in. Oh, goal. 2 0. Get in. That's what we should be doing against Livingston. Do you know what? Where was this in the first? Where was this performance in the first game against Kelly? I mean, I know we're, I think it was due to our tactics. I think our tactics needed a wee bit tweaking to suit the squad. I noticed that in the match highlights, we were getting an awful lot of stuff coming down the right hand side through Tav, but Cantwell wasn't getting up with Puck and Raskin wasn't really getting involved in that. There was a gap between my centre forwards and my midfield that we had to try and plug a wee bit. So hopefully we've managed to do that and we can go on and have a good season there too. Why Rangers? 
I'm going to demand more. So Pittman gets the ball at the edge of the box, swings it in. I think that new boy's about eight foot five or something, so I'm not surprised he's got the better of John Suter there. But we've got to be doing better for situations like that. I was really hoping to get forward and pass game to bed early, but we've still got a wee bit of work to do, team. Um, I am going to say we can turn our to a charge of the match. Midfielders not being able to control the game. Attackers have not been good enough in the final third. Overall, that is no motivation to that team whatsoever. That's what you get if you've got a, a Sunday League manager done it. Right, what we got? Gunnar Goldson with the ball. James Tavernier and his inverted wing back position. Losing the ball. Lovely. Done that well against Ross County last Sunday as well, so he did. Uh, do, 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 do. Right. Come on, get a ball back. Let's go. Livingston are having too much of the ball for me for my leg in here. I was wanting to bring on Dujon Sterling to play up front. I was wanting to have a wee bit of fun. But instead, we're under the cosh off of Livingston at home. What the hell is going on? Oh, come on. Why should I need to encourage you a lot against Livy? And then he's a throwing the toys at the prom. Possession 76, 24. I'm going to make some subs. I'm not happy. Fabio Silva's coming off. You can look fi you can look fired up on the bench, mate. Dujon Sterling, you are going to come on for Leon King. I think that's the most sensible thing to do. If Pittman's to and goal, Pittman's nearly scored. What is going on with this, Rangers? Come on. Anytime I come on to do a live commentary, it's like... First half against Genk, the team was brilliant. And then you lot join up and it's... I think we've still won a match with 4-1 or something, but I'm not really feeling good about the online commentary, if I'm being honest. Maybe players are getting stage fright. They're going to go to Balligan needs to bury that, man. That is just not good enough. You are off, pal. I'm not going to put on. Oh, wait. I've not got a centre back, so you need to stay on. Just don't get sent off, please. I'm going to bring on young Robbie Fraser at left wing back. I'm going to try Cortez for Shankland, right? And I'm going to change his position to. No. I'm going to move him. I'm going to move him to the right wing. And I am going to make him an inside forward on attack. See how that works out with an elbow through the middle on his own. Maybe if we've got an out ball on the right hand side a wee bit better, that then we can get in behind and we can start to cause some problems. This is far too far too risky for me. I need to try and chop shot and control this match again. We'll go to balance. Team instructions. Time wasting. No, I'm not doing that against Livingston, I'm sorry. I want you to run at defence. Quick play for set pieces. Maybe go a wee bit more route one. Right, let's see what we've got. Three, come on, Rangers. Rangers are enjoying themselves. The managers not enjoying themselves. I'm really not happy with this performance. He should be beating Livingston by Melon two goals to one again. Um, I'm not even talking to you. Proceed. I'm not giving them a team talk. I'm not saying well done. I'm not saying anything because that was a wee bit of a laugh, if I'm being honest. Diamond, was Diamond the plane? I didn't even think that. I know he came on as a sub, but it didn't really make an impact. Captain Tab bring pulls us out the shit again. Aye, good game last match, aye. Oh, this is hard. Right. Who have we got? There's nobody really else to bring on. I'm probably going to... Kieran Dowell's away to last Palmas. That is another what? 16 grand off the wage bill. I know the transfer fees aren't great at this, but it's still bringing in a decent amount of wage budget for us to, to play with because on FM, through your, through your finances, you can adjust your wage budget so you get more transfer budget. So, um, can I play about? I like seeing this. So, the income this month we've had 
four million expenditures, three and a half, about three point seven five. So we've made a half a million pound profit this summer. We bit worrying going forward, but we can have twenty one million in the bank and the board only give you seven. And you're a bit like, aye, cool, mate. No bother. Let's just go into the game, game eh? Obviously, there's still a fortnight left to transfer window. Well, they try and look at a centre back just now. Because I really need a centre half for this side to try and get it playing. Um, Manuel Post never forgot about you, actually. I'm going to make a wee inquiry about you, Paul. Um, I've had him, as I say, I've had him on previous FMs and had no complaints from this weather. Ronnie Edwards is actually interested in signing for us now. That this is a guy that's really highly thought of in terms of your wonder kids and all that sort of stuff. Um, I would spend a good bit of money on him. So I'll give 2.9 million and you can have 35% profit on the next sale. After international, after 20 international appearances, you can have another 2 million, right? Because he's never going to get a cap for England, let's be honest. He's not that good. <laughs> Good player, but he's not a great player. I wonder if they'll let us. I wonder if they'll let us, if they'll accept that bid or not. Hopefully, we can get Mero and Fellaini signed today as well. Just see that first signing coming in. Have we made a sign now? Obviously, we've made a Shanklin sign. How can I forget about that? Scored two goals in Europe already. Um. Right, so the podcasts for the channel are on a, a Monday and a Friday night, which is really good. We're trying different things all the time. So if you think that you actually think I am, you think this content's good, then great. If you don't, please put it in the comments. I'm keen for any kind of feedback. We're doing this as like a one season a one season kind of trial thing just now. If there's questions unanswered at the end of the season that you want to see how it unfolds. Um, then I, I'd maybe sat, I'd maybe think about sitting down and doing a second season, but the upper Chris summary just now. They went six point two five million. Well, you get two and a half, six and a half, two point eight, six, three million. An offer will need to be submitted for further consideration. That's fine with me. Ugh, neat. Hey, I was told that it would it would get a, a work permit. So why has it fell through? I've appealed it anyway. So we now need to wait in a week. So he's not going to sign the day. But see, as a player comparison, even a striker there, he's coming up as one of your best strikers. <laughs> he's a he's a must. We need to sign him. We definitely need to sign him. This guy's going to be important for the next few months. I think. Just to be bridge a gap between the kind of who's that spoke? Um, no, thank you. Six and a half to seven, seven and a half million. He's got no stamina. He's jumping, he's choking. His technicals on the great. His mentals are okay, but they're nothing wrong. He's not worth the money. So I'll bin them. Sal Danas is a guy Kai wanted me to sign, but he's just he see because he's signed for partisan Bill Grid for a million pound now. The chances of getting them are something on like hold on, they've accepted that. Well, let me rephrase that. The chances of him wanting to come are something on. Who else have we got? Roman Vaga, potentially a leading champion. No, I don't want a cinch championship standard player, thank you. Leading cinch premiership could improve significantly. Wages are a wee bit high. Good fee though. Find it difficult to settle into the core. Poor head and ability. Considering we play mostly on a deck going by the goals scored. Possess a fair amount of pace, consistent performer, enjoys big matches, fairly adaptable, matches a signing objection. This guy ticks a lot of boxes, by the way. A lot of boxes, but it's like through middle, because that's where I would play him. His composure's not good enough. His decision making is not his determination to get better in that position wouldn't be bad, and you could slot him on the left hand side. But I think I'm quite happy with my forward options just now. It would need to be somebody that, that I really, really wanted. Um, this guy looks good right enough. Leading since Premiership, close to full potential. 
25s. He's got good physicals, he's got good technicals, but again, it's it's an awful lot of money for a winger because that's where he plays. He plays predominantly in the right and predominantly in the left. I don't play with that, so he would need, either need to fill, fill in at fullback where I've got Yilmaz and my other guy coming in, and then I've got Tavernier and um, Sterling and different players there. Well, it's a good thought. I think I'll just acknowledge it just now. Um, a guy for Ludo, Gerrit's a winger. Not interested, not interested in wingers, sorry. Not interested in wingers. I don't need a goalkeeper. I've got Super Jack Butland. Kelechi, I hear Nacho. Nope, never going to happen. It's doing more and stuff like that. Um, Centre back. He's not interested, though. That's no use. Really good in the air. Impressive jump and reach. Fairly adaptable when it comes to. I'll keep an eye on him. Um, it does look good, actually, doesn't it? He's got good head in. He's got a good jump and reach. He's got not bad pace. He's 22. Is there any other Serbian centre halves, actually? Milanic. Go we'll scout him. Sometimes you find a wee gem in these countries where, like, the. Well, he's not going to come. He's contracted to Berlin. I'm not even going to waste my, my resources on it. Stefan Levkovic. Um, sometimes you find players in nations like Austria, Serbia. Argentina is a really good nation to go and find somebody. Um, in fact, hold on. I think I might remember my centre back. Uh, no Marcus Rowe, who used to play for Man United. Not that guy either. Boselli, Valen. Tini is usually quite good. Um, can I send a scout report to him? Scout him until full knowledge. Well, it's a big outlay. Um, I wouldn't mind spending it because we've got the money there. We need uh, about 12 million. No thanks. This is just depressing. It really is. Because five go no. Right, we'll come back to it. So, Dana, see. I knew he wouldn't be interested as he's only joined his new club. I wonder if they would be a loan to buy, actually. Right, so we'll need to wait towards the end of the summer before we can get that deal done. Up on appeal, we would be granted a work permit. So if we can bring him in with a loan, with an obligation to buy, or a, um, an option to buy, and it lets us get a look at him. Oh, I forgot Nathan Bishop knocked his back, so this is our chance at a set-piece coach. And there's absolutely nobody decent here. I think Milhanovic is probably the best of the bad bunch. Offer him a deal, get him on board, and let's see where it takes us. I'm probably going to rotate for this next match as well, because as I say, I still don't believe we're going to get beat off of four goals at home at KRC, yank. Um, let's just skip through all this jargon. There's a player. There's not a player. Peter Brown negotiating over Edwards again. I'm not doing it. No, I'm not. I'm not at it. Sorry, it's not happening. It's going to be a KRC game. I wish we could have played Fellini the day, guys, every day, because I think he's... Um, I think he's very... He's going to be very good, very influential. Um, but... We'll need to wait and see. We we'll wait and see how it all goes. We we'll wait and see how it all goes. Let's just go into the game. I could do a recorded version of this where I do some editing, but right now I've not got time to edit out these gaps in between. Hence why I'm just trying to talk about, like, well, I would, well, I would talk about the game last Sunday, but you only need to head over to a podcast to hear all my dulcet tones on all that type of stuff. Um, I was quite happy to hear come on coming out in his press conference um i'm recording this before the dundee game by the way so i'm coming out and being able to say like listen like we've reset it's the squad's first major effort since like in six months I've got to disagree with that point right enough but sentiment sir so. right, i'm going to play sterling up front this is what everybody's wanted to see oh i'll put him at pressing forward and I'll put Shanklin that attacking uh, advanced forward. Or I'll just leave Shanklin out and maybe play Seema to give him some minutes. Did I bring in Bailey Rice? Is that too much a risk? 
for Vraskin. Ah, bring him in, give him his debut. Do, 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 do a Monday for Ryan. Oh, maybe Todd Cantwell. I think Todd Cantwell could be doing the rest. We have a present this season. Bring Dia Monday in there. It's an opposition we could maybe look at. Mazala's a very different, different role, so it says it's a central midfield that likes to drift wide and operate in, half spa- in the half spaces. It's essentially a central slash half winger um, who likes to do is defend and further up the field, although we generally have has less, de- less de- defensive responsibility. Attacking Julio, attacking <laughs> with an attacking duty, Mazala will often leave his midfield responsibilities to his teammates. So that's at least a Raskin and Ryan Jack to tidy up. To allow him to go forward, so I think Dimwood Diamondi might be good in that role today. Let's see how we're going. Everybody's happy. I'm happy because we're about to get into the playoff round of the Champions League. Right, team talk, I don't care. Should be self explanatory, let's be honest. So let's go. Relatively quiet five minutes so far, that's not bad. Diamondi's just at a dig. And Sterling's taking a knock. How can you take an knock point up front of pressing forward? Or closing down space. They've cut his open. The fat of bar. Real laugh. Real laugh, right enough. Belgium's usually a league that you can go to sign players as well. I'm keeping Sterling on, by the way, purely for the goal. 1 0. 1 0. I'm keeping Sterling on purely because I just want him to learn the role. Um, but this is where he's going to fall. He's picking up bodies to be daft, kind of niggly injuries. But as he's got, he's taking a knock, he's indicating he to come up. Looks like he could have pulled knee ligaments. Can he risk that? And he put Danny Lowe on for him. He's too crucial to like right wing back and central midfield, left back, centre back, goalkeeper. He can play anywhere. So I want to try and keep him as fit as possible. And if his knee ligaments, then I will need to watch. What has Jack Bottling done there? How's that a special goal for a special player? Who is this guy? Brian Heyman. Might be worth a scout. Who else have you lot got? Nah. Maybe really have no put it that way. The keeper's joining up, he likes it. Haha, get out of you. This is a replay of the goal. Where it cuts inside, gives him Is Butland at fault here? I think the keeper could do better there. I really think the keeper could do better. That's a fate of me. Now, when they see him doing that in real life, the ball bouncing over the top of him. If that's, if that's what happened. Right, Connor Goldson, man, pick up the pace, big man. Move the ball forward. Good, to that direct pass and square it. That'll do. Turn on. Any hope he's had has now been shot out. Right, let's just... I'm going to turn replays off just now and speed the, the match highlights up a wee bit, right? Because it's a pretty much mostly a, a nothing match. It doesn't really mean anything. Not to me anyway, because we're through. So let's just get through it, get it finished off. Then we'll see who we get in the draw. Then we'll wrap off the day. James Tavernier with a free kick over the bar. Relatively quiet first half, apart for the three goals and Jack Butlin making a an arse here. Probably a goal. Really badly need a centre back. Someday it's a level above Connor Golden because I think there's going to be a bid for Connor Golden that I want to accept. But I also want to keep him because we need him. Essentially, just now. Um, so let's see how it goes. Well, Balag and not getting back. See, this is the thing. I don't want a 35 year old centre back. I want somebody young and fresh to come in and um, take up a role. Maybe get a mentoring group with Connor Goldson, get better. Sell them on. I've always said that Connor Goldson's a, an average defender with good leadership about with good leadership skills. I'm looking for somebody with average leadership skills and good defensive ability to come in and sort this back line out. 
I think if we can really sort the back line out, then um, going forward, it helps you give you a good foundation. Um, let's make a few subs. Let's, how's Bailey Rice been playing? I think he's playing the... Why is... Right, Seema can come off. Bailey Rice played all right. Not too bad for the young one. Put Robbie Fraser in at left back. This is the chances. Of, this is what I'm talking about in terms of games won. This is what Rangers could be doing in real life for youth. Like, the game's clearly won. Bring your young players in. Give them some minutes. Let them develop. Let them get better. Um, give them match experience, game management. Let them get used to it. It's two each. It doesn't really matter because they need to score enough four goals now anyway. It's just a case of seeing this game out and seeing who we get in the next round. 83rd minute, Tavernier. I would love to win a game right enough because it's good. It's, you get more money in for it, but it's not really matter, does it? 89, 90 minutes. One, two, three. Well done, boys. We secured the um, maybe five million bounty. Now we've got Europa League group stage football, regardless. I'm happy, yes. It's not all you can do when goals like that go in, where they keep looking at them there. Um, Oh, Dundee do with hearts whoop to do. We'll get 85 grand. That's what yeah, that's the money I was talking about. And we get Marseille. That's a tasty tie. How long Sterling injured for two or three weeks? Why are you like this? You're my favourite player in the whole wide world. On that note, troops. I'm going to sign off today. I'm going to go and try and sign a centre back um, to come in and try and show his defence up. I'm also going to try and get a, a, some sort of Dujon Sterling replacement where um, somebody can come in and be a better utility man because I think I've been overly keen in terms of playing him. So I think we need to try and manage his minutes a wee bit better when he comes back. Anyway, remember, podcast Mondays at half six, Fridays at half past seven. Kai puts a scouting video out on a Thursday night, which we might be signing some players and trying them out on screen. See how it works. Something different again. Um, like and subscribe. Follow me on my Twitter handle. It's scottymax631, not 992. I'm not CG Noble. Um, take care, team, and I'll see you on the pods.